When it comes to building muscle or getting fitter, there are a lot of divisive topics. And one of the most divisive topics is whether you should use full body training or a bro split. So a full body routine, of course, is any training regime where you're training your whole body with each workout. So that might mean that you're doing some kind of metabolic resistance training circuit, or it might just mean that you go around the gym, use lots of different stations, but make sure to train your whole body as you do. Then you have your bro splits, and these are splits where you will train different body parts on different days. So one day might be your biceps, one day might be your lats, one day might be your pecs, or maybe you'll train one or two or three body parts in a single session, but either way, you're training them not all at the same time. But which is better, and why do people argue so much on this topic? Well, the full body routine has a lot going for it. A full body routine allows you to train with more frequency, so you're training each muscle group four or five times a week. And for many people, frequency is one of the most important variables for encouraging growth and fat loss, etc., getting into the body that they want. Training with your full body, of course, lends itself better to more compound exercises and functional exercises, things like squats and bench press and handstand press-ups, calisthenics, because you're using your whole body as one unit instead of just isolating particular muscle groups. Full body routines also lend themselves better to metabolic resistance training style circuits. It lends itself better to HIIT in many cases. It's great for fat loss because you're using your whole body. The heart has to pump the blood to the top and to the bottom because you're using all the muscles, you're releasing more growth hormone, etc. And so this is another reason a lot of people prefer full body routines. It might even be, according to some research, that a full body routine increases your gene activation, which means that your body's gonna be more metabolically active at all times to build muscle and burn fat. It also seems that full body routines are better for increasing your testosterone and lowering cortisol. And so in general, many people just think they're better for all round performance and fitness and strength. On the other hand, a bro split or just a split routine allows you to focus on each muscle group and give a much more intense workout in that area. So you're gonna do things like your bicep curls um, and then pull-ups and then hammer curls and then overhand grip curls all in one workout. And of course that allows you to really torture the biceps, create a lot of micro tears, build up a lot of metabolites, you know, occlude the blood in just that area, build up all the growth hormones in that area and then give it a whole week to recover. And remember that we build muscle during recovery, not during exercise. And so this is also to some people a reason that the bro split is actually better for building more muscle in specific areas. I've talked on this channel a lot about the Joe Wider training principles, and that's the kind of thing that a lot of split routines will rely on. And there's no way that you could train every muscle group as intensively in a full body routine and not be completely destroyed. And also it would just take too long. You couldn't do all kinds of giant sets and drop sets and run the rack on every muscle group or you'd be in the gym for hours. So that makes more sense if you're gonna be trying to really punish the muscles. So which is better and which should you do? Well, of course, a lot of it's a matter of opinion and it also comes down to your biological type because some people respond really well to frequency and that's the thing that's missing from their training. I've seen people who were really skinny, couldn't build any muscle and then when they started to train every single day, I even knew someone who trained twice a day, they just ballooned because their body really responded to that. Other people's bodies really respond to that kind of brutal intensity followed by a long rest period. And one of the reasons that a lot of bodybuilders use that kind of training is because they're on steroids and so they can recover from a much more intensive workout and also they don't cannibalize the muscle as quickly during their resting phases. For me personally, I often like to do both. I do think there's a lot of merit in using a split routine. I got my very biggest by using a split routine. And like I say, I just can't do, I like to do really giant sets, just focus on one muscle group and use things like drop sets and mechanical drop sets and forced reps and burns, as I've talked about, just to really punish that muscle group and create a lot of growth. And I can't do that with a full body routine. I don't think that I could build as much muscle, you know, aesthetic muscle, big muscle, using a full body routine. But on the other hand, a full body routine allows me to be much more agile and to burn more fat, to get a much more toned physique. So I'll often do both. I'll do a week of doing um, split routine, then I'll do a week of doing full body because that's just the kind of way I like to train. I do what I enjoy. I do it for fun. I do it for research. And so there's no reason for me to stick to one or the other. I kind of just do whatever the mood takes me. Today I was filming a Rocky workout. So I was running around and I was doing pull-ups from trees and I went to the gym and I was doing presses and things. So, you know, 
mix it up. You don't have to stick with just one thing. And by doing that, you might find what your body responds best to. And of course, it also depends on what kind of muscle you want to build. But you don't have to... Thanks. But you don't have to choose between one or the other. There are some kind of compromise options. And one of my favorites is push-pull legs or PPL. So basically this means that on one day you train with all your pushing movements, on one day you train with all your pulling movements, and on one day you train your legs. Or I sometimes call it push-pull lower because you can do your legs and your abs on the same day. So on the push day, you do things like bench press, press-ups, overhead press, um, tri tricep push-downs. Then on the pull day, you do things like pull-ups, um, curls, um, lats, rows, etc. And so that way you're not doing your whole body, but you're also not just isolating one muscle group. You can get quite an intensive workout by grouping just your pushing muscles together enough to get a real burn on the um, muscles that you're targeting. But at the same time, you're still using your body as a functional unit and you're still giving yourself the option of frequency because you can fit push-pull legs obviously into a week twice or you can do it just once and have lots of recovery. It's a really nice versatile one. I think it's great for beginners because it gives them that intensity, also a lot of time to recover, and also the option to not be too intense. And it makes a lot of sense because in reality, very few exercises are truly single joint exercises. If you're gonna be training your pecs, chances are you're also training your triceps and your shoulders a little bit anyways. So you might as well involve them more so and do a push workout where you time it all together. And that also allows you to do things like pre-exhausts where you'll train that muscle group before the other one or to focus on specific areas of your pushing motion. For the functional types, a lot of functional exercises are either push or pull. You're either doing pull-ups or you're doing press-ups. There's very little where you're pushing and pulling equally in a single exercise. So if you can't decide between full body or split routine, then try push-pull legs. But either is a good option. It all depends on what your goals are. And I recommend you give both a go and PPL to see what works best for you. So thanks a ton for watching guys. Hope you found this video useful and interesting. If you did, please leave a like, maybe share it around and comment down below and let me know what you thought. Thanks so much for all your support so far. It means the world to me. I've got more like this on the way, more bodybuilding, brain training, nootropics, fitness, parkour, martial arts, productivity, starting a business from home. If that all sounds good, then stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.